Hi programmers. So in this video, I have created a simple get request that is API to get a list of customers. Nothing fancy. We are trying to test how Docker work. Okay. So the thing is that over here, I'm going to quickly show you the project structure. So nothing fancy. I have just one app dot JS just create just fetching a hard coded customer list, which is inside the customer dot JS file. Okay. So as soon as we got that file, I'm trying to run that file. Let's see what we get. So npm run start. Uh, so if I go back, so it is running on port 3000, right? So let me go quickly and check it. So we got that API up and running. That's fine. Now our aim is to take this code, deploy on node container and run on 8000 currently is working on 9000 uh, sorry 3000 right so the thing is that if i go back i just quickly stop it and first thing now we are starting now first thing what you have to do over here is at the root level you have to create a file called docker file okay the naming convention should be like this doesn't matter if you do put something else, but you have to add some extra commands or attributes at, at the time of building the containers. Okay. So probably follow this Docker dot Docker file container like that and just hit it enter and it will open that file. You might be wondering guys that what is this uh, logo and how that comes into the picture. So basically I have downloaded a Docker extension that is very helpful. That is an official Docker extension. Just download it and you will get that one. And that is very helpful to, you know, get the um, uh, IntelliSense as well. So if you type uh, node something like that, and then you will get uh, like all the files. Like, okay. Now what I have done at the first initial stage is that I am, I'm asking Docker hub saying that give me the node, uh, image not the container okay there is a huge difference between image and container you guys you need to understand that so i'll tell you later on but i'm sure that you will understand at the end of the video saying that what is the difference between image and containers okay so i'm asking give me a node image from the docker hub okay and what what type of image you want node plus a specific version that is node uh, 14 version right secondly we got the image, but again, I just, I'm assuming that I should put my code somewhere in an organized way. Okay. I'm just, I'm just going to create a directory structure. So to create a word directory structure, there is a command called working directory. Okay. So inside that work, working directory, what you have to do is like, just provide a specific working directory, something like the app. So everything, okay. Based on this command working directory, everything, whatever the code we are copying now, everything will be placed inside the app directory. Don't worry. I'm going to show you in a visualization where it will be placed. Okay. Now, second thing, what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy those two files that package.json and something like uh, package uh, lock.json. Okay. So the, the expression should be like this. So this should be fine on the root level like that. Okay. Uh, package star.json that's totally fine it should work i believe okay the second point what you have to do over here is that as soon as you got those file right you just need to install whatever the dependencies will be there okay so run run command should be there and run is npm install so this run command belongs to docker not from the uh, or node application so it will run this this command just like that we have cmd command okay, over here right so it will run that inside there there a docker terminal i would say okay and then create a node module now we got node modules those two packages we have to install those two uh, uh, files as well right so i'm gonna do like i can do one by one like a step by step as well but uh, like individual files but i'm gonna tell the file like copy each and everything from the current directory and copy into the current directory of app, right? So once we got everything there, <clears throat> secondly, we have to expose a port saying that port expose to 8,000, as I was telling you that currently it was exposed to 3,000 
and which is running in locally and i'm gonna go with the 8000 now now finally what you have to do is like just put a command that ex uh, executable command and npm and you should provide in the separate <coughs> uh, string file i would say so npm start like that it was really simple now uh, to run this one you have to ask the hub right so you have to build an image not the container again sorry you have to build a container now sorry my bad so you have to build a container how to do that so you have to type docker build hyphen t t in the sense like tag give me give something name and the naming and the best practices should be like <coughs> whatever the service you are building based on that put it like this okay customer app i'm gonna put like that the name same name in convention and then i'm gonna give current directory to run it so you might be wondering why i put dot so what it does in behind the scene docker it will search the same name in convention of capital d o c k e r f i l e docker file like that if you put something like that something else here for example your file something like that so you have to put file name with the hyphen f tag and your file name and the specific directory where it belongs to right so in our scenario we properly followed each and everything just put dot and let's see what it does before that i just wanted to let you know that you have to install the uh, the docker uh, requirements the uh, docker desktop if you are in, uh, using windows so first go and download uh, the docker desktop for windows and configure the prerequisites okay if you are using mac follow this instruction and the install for the linux okay everything i'm going to provide in the link in the description below and then you can easily get that one secondly from the docker hub we will get number of files so just type docker hub and type node and you will get this one node how to understand that this is the worth uh, getting this node file see how many people are pull that one in the last week okay so the, this is the uh, much in demand so we can use other uh, containers if you want mongo, mongo express something like that everything will be built in okay now i'm gonna go back as soon as you install the docker desktop you it will look like this so on the left hand side you will see that we have docker co containers which are we, we don't have currently anything and uh, okay the second thing is like images let's see we don't have any images as of now so what if i hit it enter now and let's see on the right hand side what we will get hit enter so it will be it will run step by step one two three see in the second step it's creating the working directory fourth step directly and ninth step uh, it's copying now the fifth step and then everything is copied and we got the image as a container right it's, uh, over here now i'm gonna do i'm gonna go and create an create a container on the top of that image see and we are inside this image so if i go over here we don't have anything as of now so to run uh, the container so i'm gonna take this uh, and type docker run hyphen hyphen name something like that and then put a docker container name okay which will come up over here right and then we have to set a port saying that what port you have to expose it to i'm sorry so this is the 3000 port should be there this is a, a node js server okay not our server so we have to put the expose the 3000 server which we mentioned over here right so this server, this port should match to this expose one and over here i'm gonna expose that 3000 to 8000 so it will go from right to left okay so based on this 8000 we will get that container and you guys you might be wondering that what should i provide the next one so there will be multiple uh, images running up right so what container you have to build so i'm gonna type like customer app so i'm taking this image okay and creating a container like this of on 8000 port by exposing 3000 right let me try hit it and let's see what we will get see over here we got a customer app and it's working fine that's really good okay now what 
uh, let's see whether it, it is it does work or not okay so if I go to 3000 and hit it 3000 won't work right now because it as you might remember that we have uh, stopped the container local local container first and then ran the docker container this is the docker container okay and I'm gonna show you two important things first if I go to images you can see the status in use okay so if you click this one you'll get who is using and what what is the packages this is doing okay everything there go to containers and you will see that it is running that's totally fine okay so if, if i go inside it's uh, working fine see the terminal and everything most important thing that you might be wondering that guys where can i find all the files which are uh, i've already saved over here so i just wanted to see the file structure in in the docker file that is a box type like a, like a container like so go inside this file and you have, as I was telling that, as soon as you created a work directory, it will copy each and everything inside this work directory. So you will get entire thing over here. That's that's the beauty of the Docker. And then you are going everything and running up, up, uh, up and running everything. So this is the basic Docker Node.js application up and running, that's really fine. But what if we want to configure the database and this is this container is running something totally different environment right and then we have to configure the other docker container let's say mongodb or a node j uh, sorry uh, mysql something like that so how to do it okay we launch same we do the same functionality by going and or doing the postgres or mysql something like that but my question is how we link those two that is important right because data needs to go back and forth right and the third point i want to tell you that what is the volume okay so in the next video i'm gonna create uh, some i'm gonna create a post api which will be saving some data into the database and i'm gonna kill this particular docker container and let's see whether the data will persist or not okay if data does not persist what will be the operation that we have to perform, right? So as soon as I click this one, for example, as soon as I hit and just stop the container like this, so, and delete it, all the data will be vanished. Okay, you can't find anything. Okay, so if I go back and run it, by the way, I'm running one more time. To run that one more time, I'm gonna run it in detached mode, so you can't see this one. So everything will be running in the background. So like this, okay? So as soon as, so let's see uh, what we have in the volume or something like that. We don't have anything attached to the uh, attached to the containers. So we can create volumes. I'm gonna, in the next video, I'm gonna show you how we can uh, create or attach volume to this container and then if this container got failed or crashed or something like that we get that volume which will be having the persistent data okay so stay tuned and guys if you do like my video please like subscribe and share and it, that will help me and keep me motivated to uh, give you more content and that will be helpful for you guys okay let me know in the comment if you have any questions thanks for watching see you